Howdy folks. Coming up in this edition of our Android app series, I'll be showing you seven amazing apps for Android that just might be useful for you. Let's get started. First up is Quick, which is a video editor created by GoPro. It works with your photos and pictures captured by your phone or any other device. You don't need to have a GoPro camera to use Quick. When you open the app, tap on create a new video, and then just go through all your pictures and video to select the ones you want to use for your project. So I'll select a few here. And when you're ready, tap on the check mark. It's going to ask you to name your project, so name it whatever you want. I'll just name mine test, and then tap on continue. It will automatically create a video for you with music. I have the sound muted right now. If you don't like the video that was auto-created, you can edit the video to your liking, and there are a ton of settings that you can choose too. You can choose from more than 80 free songs in the app or music from your collection. Your finished videos can be saved in formats up to 1080p with 60 frames per second. Quick is one of the best video editors you can get in the store. This is one you should definitely check out. Next up is Flipboard, which takes news from many different sources and compiles them all into a single app. This popular app has a great looking user interface. When you swipe up, it goes to the next story. Just tap on the article if you want to read more. Back on the home page, in the heading at the top, you'll have cover stories, which is the main page. You can also add headings with your interests. Currently, I only have technology and sports. To add more interests, go to the What's Your Passion heading. Select an interest. I will select science. Here you can add more subcategories. I'll add in NASA, social sciences, and physics. When done, hit save. And as you can see, science has been added to my headings. If you're a news junkie, Flipboard is a must-have app. Music Maker Jam is a popular app for those of you that want to create your own music. This one was suggested by several of you in the comments. When you open the app, you can scroll down to listen to other creations, or to make your own creation, just tap on the Music Maker Jam icon at the top. This is where all the magic happens to edit your music. You'll have a ton of loops, beats, and melodies to start mixing your track, and you can also record your voice to be used in the track. When you install and first launch the app, they're nice enough to give you a tutorial to learn how to use it. Music Maker Jam is a great app for creating music. It's free and offers in-app purchases. Memrise is a language learning app that lets you choose from more than 24 languages with hundreds of vocabulary lessons, native speaker videos, and AI conversation practice. Many people actually prefer this app over other language learning apps like Duolingo and Babbel. When you launch the app, you're asked which language you'd like to learn. There are a bunch of languages to choose from. I'll select Swedish, then tap on Beginner. It'll show some fancy graphics. And when you get through all of that, just follow the on-screen instructions. If you want to learn how to speak a new language, give Memrise a try. Open Camera is, as the name suggests, a camera app with a lot more features than what is usually pre-installed on your phone or tablet. It has a lot of options that you can play around with, including the option to take photos remotely by using voice commands or by making any other noise like whistling. Also, if you go into settings, there are a lot of default settings that can be changed. Open camera is fully featured and completely free. So if you're still using the stock camera app that came with your phone or tablet, this is one you should consider. Next up is the Here We Go Maps and Navigation app which for the longest time used to be owned by Nokia. My usual go-to navigation app is Waze, but I've run into instances lately where it doesn't work properly. When that happens, my backup navigation app is Here We Go. It has reliable navigation, it has offline maps, which can be downloaded, and real-time public transportation options for those of you that live in the city. If you need a good alternative to Waze or Google Maps, Here We Go is a solid option. City Mapper is the ultimate transit map for those of you that live in cities that have transit options. Sadly, this app does not work in the New Orleans area yet. I'm going to be in the San Francisco Bay Area soon, so I'll use that as an example. 
At the top of the app, it will give you all the transportation options, including bus, rail, ferry, bike, and Uber and Lyft are even listed. Now I'm gonna tap on Get Me Somewhere. I'll use Powell Street as the starting location and Giant's Dugout as the ending location. It'll let you know the amount of calories you'll burn if you walk or take a bike, along with how long it'll take you to get to your destination. And below in the suggested category, it'll show you the costs and time for taking the public transportation options, along with other options listed below. City Mapper is not in all areas yet. If you plan on visiting one of the cities they cover, City Mapper can make your transportation experience better. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if there's an app you feel deserves to be mentioned in our Android app series. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with our latest Android apps videos and other tech-related stuff.